Hey guys, uh, if you've been with us before, you remember Wyatt, a uh, vet student from OSU, that's came and done our uh, sonogram or our ye lambs before, and here we're doing that again today. Um, we got, I don't know, a few hundred to do, and uh, we can see if they're bred or, or open here and separate them accordingly and feed them accordingly. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while we get a weather run through and, and they, uh, we try to trick him, see if, you know, how good he really is and he called him open this time, but that's just, uh, we'll see about, we might have snuck a few more in there just to, to see how good he is. And we're also, uh, Famacha scoring them and, and worming the ones that need it as we go through. Now, we're not worming with the valvazone if they're pregnant. Um, you, it's supposed to be okay if it's a, uh, other than the first trimester of pregnancy, but we just have decided not to use it at all during pregnancy. Okay, so what do you got there, What? So we're scanning the fetus right now. So you can see the head is that brighter white thing in that amnion. And then we, so the focus on the head right now, and then we're gonna go down through the body. So you can see some little bitty legs on there. This one's probably, these are probably 60 days or so. But see a little bitty head. Okay, the head is uh, kind of a black, black around thing? Yeah, it looks like a beak right there on top, right on that. Whoop. Right on the cross section of that grid. Let me see if I can. So you can see he's, he's like laying on his back and his head is curling up, running clock, going clockwise. Head's at 12 and then it kind of goes down around. Nine would be the spine and goes down um, through there. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me see if I can, if I can hold him. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it on this one. I'll find a different one. So you can see you better have some training before you <laughs> try this at home, see. So it's heads up top. You see the rib lines down low. Once in a while, I can see it. Yeah. 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 And, and then a foot, like running off from the front, right underneath its head. Where's its head? Well, its head's right at the top, in that top okay. square. Yeah. So you can see an eye, that's an eye right there. Uh -huh. That we're in and out on. And so. that's cotyledons around the circles? Yep, so the cotyledons look like little crescent moon, donut type mushroom. People call them a lot of different shapes, but yep, that's what we're looking for. So that's where the placenta attaches to the uterus. Okay. If you do it right, they'll just sort of feed in on their own if they've been through here a few times. It's 
nice to have a goat in there once in a while, kind of a Judas goat. That'll always look for a hole. They'll lead them right on into the alleyway. Hadn't been a real cold day, but it's been cool, cloudy, and muddy. see that's part of a leg right there head is up in there uh, it's umbilicus right here those three lines ribs right there that's cool so we'll see it's like a it's not one to be found as easy but, mm -hmm. but you can see front leg right there Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see all these rib lines, yeah. so that's what we're seeing there. Huh. And then hips right there, you can see that's his hips. Yeah. So you think it's just a single? Uh, it's hard to tell with this, because if you had a twin, you know, he could be right underneath him. And okay. so it's hard to tell with this, because with this ultrasound, we're only getting to look at about right there. And so both the twin and the other horn, we're just... He could be slung down a little farther and not seeing it, but, but this way we can efficiently tell bread from open. Okay. Well, we finished that chore up, and uh, Travis's wife and two boys helped us here. Quinn was off at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. He wanted to go there today. So, and I'll have to tally up and see how we came out. I think we had, oh, I don't know, 65 or 75, or 65 or 70 percent um, bred ewe lambs. So, I don't know what the average is for everybody, but it's probably about what we usually do. So we got a few things to move around and head to the house. Have a good day.